you're watching my favorite YouTube channel. All these Black Panther comics from the 10 issue montage, I'll talk over myself. At issue one, I decided to collect every comic book as well as the variant cover as much as possible. And that's just a thing that continued all the way throughout. I would get it many variants for one and then there were more variants for two and ever since then i think it was only two comic books that had a variant cover for them as you can see them coming up on the screen this wasn't a collector thing for me a must have gotta have all these comic books it was more so about i'm gonna spend four dollars on a comic book character because what i want is the outcome of representation to last and be the strongest possible to be as most impactful as it can as impact look at me as impactful as it can be of all the characters in Marvel in the position to do so, Black Panther is at the highest position to do this. Now, if you rank him amongst all the Marvel characters, as we've done this before, I don't have him inside of the top 10 as comic book characters. Sales-wise, he just literally is not. And I would want to make for the most amount of money go to his sales. So this took away from my purchasing of other comic book characters, a limited series here or about a character who they don't really care for and it isn't in the position of Black Panther to make the effects of representation. Of course, the outcome is what I care about. It doesn't matter who the character is. It just so happens to be T'Challa and that's the horse that I back. It is not only T'Challa, of course, Storm exists too and is in a great position and I recommend that we... Pra we take part in this practice also for the new Storm series. The Black Panther character is going to have ongoing series again and again. And I will always be there to support this comic book character. And I will always be there to support this comic book character. So long as he is the top character with skin that's dark. That's how I'm going to roll in this company. And I won't be emotionally manipulated into purchasing comic book characters who aren't the Black Panther or our Storm. Marvel has two black characters, everyone. Preat that for the people in the back. Two black characters in the top 20. In the top 20 characters, if you look and think about it, maybe if you can expand it to top 25, depending on where you rank these guys, those characters are at the top. And if I want the outcome of what representation provides, I know that it's going to have to happen at the top, as close to number one as possible. Someone, whoever is crossing their arms going, well, two black characters, what about Goliath? What about Tosin? Huh? Never heard of Frenzy, have you? What about Bling, huh? The... I'm talking about having melanin in your skin and we've got a male and we've got a female who are separate characters or also are stronger together. It's kind of the best case scenario, except they're outside of the top 10 of sales outside of the top 10 of care by CB Sobolski. They're that's the chief creative uh, officer or CEO of Marvel comics. They don't care about them that way. And I want to make sure that the sales help. I'll give you a visual example. Let's go to Comicron. You can see here that I'm on the December 2019 list of comic books. This was the era when Tanahisi Coates was doing a Black Panther, and I'll show you where he is. And when I move out the way, Black Panther issue number 19 had 15,000 units that sold that month. Let's keep that in mind, and I'll return to that number if you forget. But I want to compare them to some of the other characters that are out there so you know how bad that is. It's the what is it? 126th place. This comic would get canceled at issue 25 when the sales decreased and where it wasn't worth having anymore. The trade paperbacks that sold well, well better than usual, weren't selling high enough for them to continue with this character or Tony Heasy Coast wrapped up, whatever the reason was. They discontinued this. Sales were low. Intergalactic Empire got 19, 19 had 15,000 issues sold. And I'm seeing 15,000 units that could have been higher if people did what I did instead of doing what else instead of buying what else is on the list and the list begins with x-men number three which was hot at the time hundred thousand units sold. oh my god a hundred thousand units of jonathan hickman x-men when we were at number three this would level off of course but that is bananas the batman character is known to sell during december of 2019 known to sell 80,000 units because there's two that came out that month and that's where he's estimated to sell that's a huge Huge character. Let's just dip down to somewhere else. Captain America, also written by Tony Coates. That's 30,000 units that were sold. I'll put this in a graph. There, the Tony Stark Iron Man issue number 19. They had 25 units that were sold, and this was the one by Dan Slott. And he was taking a really long time doing this one. Had help from Jim Zub also. 25,000 units sold for Tony Stark Iron Man. All the way compared to the Black Panther comic book, 
which was very low, 15,000 units old, and eventually would be cancelled six months later. Technically wasn't six months because in March, the comic industry froze. Then we have Black Panther in the Ages of Wakanda, issue number four. 10,000 units were sold. So customers were willing to spend money on the character two different times. Do you see where I'm going with this? Here's the chart if you don't. We'll get to Agents of Wakanda, but look at Batman, 80,000 units sold. This guy drives comic book events, is the center of DC, is in a substantial, and he is the marker of an ongoing series. Just a regular everyday comic book coming out that month, cost four bucks. It was 80,000 units. That is where, that is the most. That is basically what the market tells us is the peak. Here comes Captain America, 30,000 units sold. Captain America is a pretty big deal, isn't it? I mean, I skipped on Spider-Man. He's somewhere in the 75,000 roughly uh, of that month units sold. We got Captain America for 30. 29,000 is a uh, Captain is Iron Man rather. Iron Man is right there and he's at a meaningful role. You know, he got Iron Man 2020. Iron Man 2020 was an event that came out. So we know if your sales are about yay high of that month, then you're going to be event worthy. And I only have this because at the time I was so silly. I'm going Oh, well, a supporting character of this event is going to be Riri Williams Ironheart. Got to support. I really thought that way. The sales and the results coming out of this. When, when I go to Comicron.com and look at units sold for Iron Man 2020, issue number one. When I look at that, and when so does Marvel, when Sobolski sees that, he doesn't go, ah, it was Ironheart. Or if it's really selling well, he doesn't go, oh, okay, more Ironheart. That's just not how it works. There was a time where I thought so. I, Ironheart was the only reason I supported that comic book. And now I don't even support Ironheart. I don't care. The Iron Man comic book is where where it is. The Black Panther comic book is next. And that's the Coates one, followed by Agents of Wakanda. As you can clearly see, there is enough money in the market for Black Panther. It exists. And what I'm advocating for is that for the people who bought the first comic, you know, most of the people are of the 15,000 units sold for Black Panther were also purchasers of the 10,000 units of Agents of At Wakanda, Agents of Wakanda. So what I'm in favor of is taking your money that was designated for Agents of Wakanda and stacking it up on top of the Black Panther. The dollars do exist, they are out there in the market. And when we don't do this, we get no character in the top 10, no character who's prioritized at those Marvel summits no character who gets to have crossover events. They've never thought about what are we going to do in Wakanda the next time Earth is attacked. When wh and what's his role going to be, Black Panther, in this? It's rather, oh, how will we make him not even the king? What? Oh yeah, we got to follow the movies. But we don't do that for Spider-Man. All of a sudden, Mysterio doesn't turn into a good guy when uh, Far From Home happened. All of a sudden, Spider-Man No Way Home, they had three Spider-Mans. They didn't change the world to introduce three Spider-Man and Amazing Spider-Man. Th there's a standard set for this character that it's disrespectful. But when the sales start matching what he does, what Iron Man does, we can change that. We have the ability to do that if we care about representation. Now, if you're just buying the comic books because, oh, this will, this will be cool. I like reading stories and this doesn't apply to you, then this doesn't apply to you. For those of you who think that when you go ahead and you pick up Bishop War College... Or, or when you pick up whatever secondary blah, Green Lantern is out there right now. When you're throughout the month. There was a Luke Cage, the gang war. You've got to support Luke Cage for those of you thinking that that three issue tie-in limited series was of any significance to sales and to representation. For those of you going Photon. But yeah, well, let's do Monica Rambeau Photon. I learned the hard way. And this is, this is what got me here. These comic book series that exist is literally just money. I can visualize it for you. Here, these imaginary bar graph bars represent comic books that came out from Marvel over the last few years. Night Thrasher, what if that money went to Black Panther? What if that money went from Photon? What if some of that money instead was stacked onto the Black Panther? Or when Black Panther was out and it was um, Shuri, when the Shuri comic book was happening, well, what if that money went to the Black Panther? Marvel is getting, let's call it the black dollar. They are. But when it's unconcentrated, it goes to here, 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 and here. And what Chillmonger is advocating for is to take the money that's going to Marvel anyways and utilize it in power, like un unify our dollars 
to actually get an outcome where possibly T'Challa starts competing with Iron Man. That secondary Spider-Man isn't so important anymore with the guy with the ceiling. Then he's, now we're looking at main Spider-Man. If every black dollar was concentrated, this character is unignorable. I'm all for that. I'm not going to wait out on the new Ironheart 4 issue limited series that's coming out. I'm telling my LCS, hey man, not anymore. Just But remember, cover A of Black Panther and cover B of Black Panther is coming. If you disagree with me and you go, hey, I'm not going to lose out on any of my cherished heroes. And I saw Exceptional X-Men and there was some background blacks. And I saw that they, uh, this X-Men book had that. And there needs to be support for these supporting characters of these teams like Thunderbolts had Victor Alvarez and that's worth supporting. And if that's you, I'm not getting to you, but you appear to have money to spare. So still, buy cover A and buy cover B of the Black Panther comic book because this world that I got him competing with the Batman, the Batman series, this world is the world I want to live in where we can look at charts like this. Marvel has two black characters that we can do this with. Our next opportunity in the 616 because Ultimate Black Panther is doing great. Um, in the 616, our next opportunity is for Storm. This Kenyan woman who's been relevant on team books. She's had her ongoings here and there. It is up to us to ensure that this is an ongoing comic book series that survives two trade paperbacks. It does not get canceled at 12 or 10. Save your money. The money that didn't go to Daughter of Blade for on this YouTube channel, that money is entitled to Aurora Monroe Storm on this channel. I'm buying cover A, and I'm going to get the variant cover as well. And I'm going to shine on, on these on Wednesday, first day of the week that it's available. There's going to be a review, God willing, there's going to be a review up on this channel holding it down for this character. Because if Amazing Spider-Man can get that with Caped Joel and with all these other characters and all these other YouTubers, if they can do that for Justice League and for Flash, then by golly, the Black Panther and Storm are worthy of a day one and e even a live stream afterwards. Coverage. You, I'm going to do my part. I advocate for you to do your part. And you purchase the Storm comic book in abundance. You go to that shop and you make sure you get that comic book. When you go the next week for, for, and you still see there's a Storm on the shelves, and you still see that there's a Storm on the shelves, that means that the comic book uh, boss, whoever owns the shop, is going to go, okay, I got to order less storms for next time. We can't let that happen. Don't leave, don't leave, do not leave a storm on the shelf. I'll say after two weeks, give everybody a chance to get the comic book. But do not leave the storms on, storms on the shelf. You still see one? Buy that extra comic book. You guys clearly have money to buy the Bishop book, the, I, I, all the ones that I mentioned earlier. It take too long for me to remember. You, if we have money for Night Thrasher, you have money for Storm. I'm going to buy more Black Panthers. I'm going to double up, concentrate the dollars, unified, built, building uh, relevance. Because with the stage that we're at now, when we have multiple black characters who are in insignificant, under-the-top 10 roles, like insignificant, C.B. Sobolski does not care. He does not lose sleep over characters like Black Panther. He loses sleep over characters like Spider-Man. They are of no value. They're of the Black Panther Storm, all these characters. It's Black Panther Storm, they're of little value. But everyone else who they sell on February. Falcon, symbol of truth. Save your money. That, that went 12 issues. You could have saved your money because that wasn't worth anything. Concentrate those dollars into Black Panther and we'd still have an ongoing e-viewing series. If every dollar that, w that you spent on that comic book went to Black Panther. These are not characters who they, they care for. Historically, that has, been, that has been the case. When Eve Ewing's Black Panther, criticize it as much as you want, doomed for failure as it was for honoring another guy and keeping him outside of the king status. But when Eve Ewing's Black Panther came to an end at issue number 10 because it wasn't selling highly enough, not because she was done her story. We heard her in an interview talk about how Oh, it'll go as long as it wants. She asked Will Moss, how long will this go? I don't know. So when it ends because the, the sales didn't, didn't warrant it, that's when we got to hit the red alarm and we got to go, okay, so there was enough money out there for melanin and it wasn't utilized on this king 
of a nation that was uncolonized and we would rather and we collectively spent money on other heroes and other heroes which is resulting in nothing in marvel if marvel is going to get your money let's get the most bang for our bucks and focus it on the characters who are at the highest potential chance or the highest position to impact positively I think I said the same thing twice or three times in this video. I hope the visuals helped. If you disagree, leave a comment and I will not argue with you this time. I'll respectfully discuss to you. It's a fragile topic. I don't want to have fights. Some people are stupid. Some people are some people are backwards. Don't be one of those people. But uh, I want to hear, I want to field the questions and maybe we can even do a live stream on this topic. Look out for that. that I probably should. I anticipate my man Marcus is going to say something because I listened to him and Back of the Bus's live stream, which you can go to right here. And if there's a way to get the timestamps, it'll be right to the timestamp where he's talking about the actor who said no to working to do a race swap diversion character and he wanted an original character, Night Thrasher. We'll talk about this on Thursday.